What is up fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Scorpio Zodiac sign. So let's do a check in and see what the heck is going on with you now Scorpio. We'll use the spell casting deck. What's going on with my Scorpios? What's going on with Scorpio? Two cards please. Passion. One more. What's going on with Scorpio please? What is going on with Scorpio? And life purpose. Okay. I like this. Oh shit. And reconciliations at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Lord, I shouldn't even looked at that. All right, so let's see. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I hate when I see that reconciliation. Um, let's see. Let's clarify the passion card here for you, Scorpio. See what this is. Could have got like a. They just said ignite, ignition, igniting. It's like a. It sounded like an explosion. Like an explosion. It was like a. Phew. So, the Hermit and the Ten of Pentacles. Oh hell yeah, Scorpio. You've been doing a lot of thinking here, Scorpio. I like this. The Hermit and the Ten of Pentacles. You've been focused on your grind, focused on your money. That's why it was like an explosion type of noise. Like it sounded like a big, it was like, Phew. that's why this passion card is here. Scorpio, you've been, you've been in solitude. You've been doing a lot of thinking. You've been trying to find out how you're going to make it towards your Ten of Pentacles with this Three of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You've been doing work behind the scenes. You've been doing work to yourself. Like this is a one man show. You've been working on something, and it's going to bring you the abundance that you're looking for, Scorpio. Wow. Clarify the life purpose card here for Scorpio. Nine of Wands and Four of Swords. Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior energy. This is the energy of getting knocked down but getting back up. Scorpio, of course, that's you. You you get knocked down several times, and you get right back up. And I see you doing that. This time, though, I see you doing it in a more spiritual way. Like you're um, instead of instead of getting back up and getting right back in the fight, you actually take some time and meditate. You take some time and rest. You're taking some time to get things together logically here. Mm -hmm. Six of Cups energy. Bottom of the deck, Six of Cups at the bottom. You're thinking about, the energy that I'm getting is you're thinking about stuff that you enjoy doing. Things that bring you a lot of happiness. Things that bring you a lot of abundance. Your, your mindset, you're like, okay, you're taking this moment. You're like, okay, I'm just going to sit here and I'm going to rest. What is it that I enjoy doing? What is it that I love? What is it that I can see myself doing for the rest of my life, you know? That's why you're in this resting energy. Let's see, clarify the four of swords. Four of Cups in reverse, yeah. You don't want to do anything that just is making you bored, okay? You don't want to do anything like that anymore. You want to do something that is meant for you. Something that you enjoy doing. Something that you don't mind uh, committing to or sticking with. That's why this Life Purpose card is here. Because you're trying to find out what your calling is. You're trying to find out which direction you need to go. Okay, what about this, let's see, reconciliation at the bottom of the deck. What's this reconciliation about? What's this reconciliation about at the bottom of the deck here? The sun card and the three of swords. So there was a situation that made you very, very happy, but it ended in heartbreak here. Okay, yep, reconciliation, three of cups. It ended in heartbreak. This reconciliation didn't come to fruition, okay? I think we've went over this several times. This could have been a situation where you were ready to give the energy to them, but they weren't willing to give it back. Nine of Swords energy. It did bring a lot of heartache, a lot of sleepless nights. You wanted to be committed. Yeah, King of Cups energy. You wanted to be committed to this person, but this reconciliation did not happen. So there's a lot of disappointment. So this could be the reason why you're in this solitude energy where you're thinking about how can I level up? How can I get my Ten of Pentacles? How can I get my money this is why you're in this energy but let me tell you something this energy is about to make you very wealthy because now you're kind of like now that you're not putting all of your energy and love and and um pouring all of that energy into this reconciliation now you've kind of taken it and you've started to pour it into elsewhere and that's why you're going to get this Ten of Pentacles. You know how a Scorpio, a Scorpio, when they love on someone, they will give them all of the love and their attention. Okay? 
But when they work on a project, they will dive into that project and they would create it, build it. We can transform anything. And so now that that energy has shifted from this love connection to your money, whoo, Scorpio, you're about to create the abundance that you want in your life here. This is beautiful. You're realizing that love, love isn't enough anymore. Love isn't just going to make you happy anymore. You want something that can grow and you can forever pluck from. Let's see. What's the outcome energy or advice from the universe? Advice from the universe here. We have the Fool, the Four of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Eight of Swords. Scorpio, take this leap. Continue to go forward here. Trust the process. Trust the universe. Trust your spirit, guys. They will not lead you astray. Continue to trust them. The Four of Pentacles tells me, make sure you keep things to yourself, okay? I feel the need to tell you to hold back a little bit. Only from, like, as far as, like, money, maybe hold back on your money. Don't overspend. But also, they're giving my ears ringing really loud right now. They're also giving me the energy. Okay, I hear. <laughs> they also give me the energy of like holding back the information, like what you're doing, what you're investing in here with the Seven of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords because there's going to be so many things that's going on. You don't want anybody telling you, oh, well, you shouldn't do that. Oh, you shouldn't do that to throw you off, okay? Because it's just going to cause mental conflict and mental confusion here. You know what it is that you need to do. Intuitively, you know. They also said, don't spread yourself thin, for whoever needs to hear that. Don't spread yourself thin. But it's like the moment you, look, the moment that you put your love and pour your love into this, look at how victorious it is, okay? Look at the success that it's going to bring here. Because now you're taking your love from pouring into someone to pouring in something that you want. And you know how Scorpio is. When a Scorpio pours the love into something, it grows, it grows, it overflows. You know what I'm saying? So, Scorpio, I see good things happening for you here. Let's get uh, last few messages here. What last messages do you have for Scorpio? What last messages do you have for Scorpio? Just know if you're working on something financial, it's going to be beautiful. Look, devil, take care immediately to avoid temptation and deceit. Okay, so you're letting go of this devil energy of maybe I can get this to work. Maybe I can reconcile this connection. Maybe this connection can work here. No, the happiness is gone, is done, is dead, it is over. Okay, the heartbreak is there. Let it, let it go. All right. We also have death, a time of natural transition and transformation here. So you're going through a transformation. Of course, Scorpios always go through the transformation. This is your card here, the death card. So you're going through this transformation here. But as you're doing that, you're putting your energy into your work. And that's how you're going to get your Ten of Pentacles here. Because you're taking your passion from that relationship where you were trying to pour back into, into your passion. Something that you're wanting. Something that you desire. And then we have lovers. There are two paths ahead. Be true to yourself. Okay? So again, I feel like you're pouring your love and energy into a situation here that's like a project. Something that is going to be very successful. Something that's going to have a lot of recognition. Like if you're trying to be a influencer or you're trying to be like a YouTuber or something like that, you're going to get a lot of recognition here because of how much love you have for this situation. How much love you're pouring into your work. All right. Like I, I don't see you just doing any old job. Like this isn't the, I'm not getting the energy of, oh, I'm just going to go get me a job at the factory and just call it. No, I feel like this is because of the life purpose here. You're saying, okay, what will make me happy to get my ten of pentacles what is it that i'm passionate about because whatever that is that's what i'm going to put my energy to that's what i'm going to put my love into and i'm going to grow it and transform it and make it my mission for it to be my life purpose where it's going to abundantly carry me throughout my life that's what i'm getting for you all right so this is your quick reading guys i hope this gives you some clarity and some insight i appreciate you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next video bye guys